you call this? You've been here all night. Managed a bit of sleep, but uh, not too bad. What's the latest? They've said she can come home. So soon? In the next couple of days, hopefully. I'm dying for her to wake up and then I can tell her. Hmm. I bet you are. Oh, look at her. Rosie, uh, that my nails key. Oh, it was due to go in and wash that. It's got foundation all over it. It'll do. So? Hey, Mum. Hey, you little lazy bones. How can a grown man let a drunk 16-year-old girl barge past him, climb up onto a church roof and fall off? Yeah, you're right, you know. He was up on the roof with our daughter. Why didn't he bar away? I want to know why she was three sheets to the wind in the first place. Yeah, well, when the nurse is finished in there, we'll ask Sophie a few questions. Those slippers you bought at Shans, by the way. Well, she was back at her mum's. Well, people leave things places. Oh, we'll ask Shan a few questions as well. Never too late to do some parenting, is it? We're doing what we can. Oh, I love him. Are you joking? He's funny. So, has my mum and dad been grilling you, yeah? Uh, yeah. My dad thinks the pastor should have stopped me getting on the roof. Yeah, well, he's got a point. Oh, my, look at the state of that dress. How can she leave the house looking like that? <laughs> Sharp. Do you still love me? Yeah. You don't sound too sure. Of course I'm sure. I'm really sorry, you know. Damn. And just the thought of losing you. Well, um, do you think your mum will let me move back in? Are you serious? <laughs> Why did she get so drunk? Because we fell out. What about a girl? Kind of. It was nothing, it was just some photo was of someone that I met in Tangier. And then what? She overreacted. We had a route and then I went back to my mum's. Look, I feel guilty enough as it is, Sally. This wasn't my fault and I wasn't there when she started drinking because if she was, I would have stopped her. At last. <laughs> you need a ball of string in this place. So new to their beautiful. Dad picked them out. Is she asleep? No, no, Kevin's in there with her. I tried to see her home last night. I knew she was drunk. I should have made sure she got home. No, it wasn't down to you. If one of us had known. Well, I did mention it. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. No, go on, you did mention it to who? No, it's... It's just... I told Kevin. He said he was busy. Busy. He had his baby to see to. Is that what he said? Well, he, he seemed to think, oh, I, I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Oh, I won't worry about that. He said you'd deal with it. He said what? Staggering round the street off her face and you're too busy to deal with it? I was picking Jack up from the childminder. Where was you? I didn't know what was going to happen, did I? <laughs> Neither did I. Oh, sorry deal with it. She nearly died because you couldn't be bothered with her. All you're bothered about is Jack, Jack, Jack. I wish I hadn't said anything. Yeah, well, he can't fend for himself, can he? She's virtually an adult. She's 16. She's at the trickiest stage of her life. Yeah, well, if you wasn't throwing yourself at blokes, she might have known where to look yeah, for you. Yeah, if you hadn't gone off with Molly Dobbs, none of this would have happened. I think I'm gonna, uh, go I did what I could as fast as I could. You have destroyed everything. Everything that we ever built up together, it's gone. Oh, shut up, How mama. dare you? Yeah, well, I've had it up to you here, Anna. I've apologised. I beg your forgiveness. But it is what it is. I've got a baby, you've got a bloke. Everything's changing. And some things get overlooked. Yes, your daughter's by you. And you? Do you know what? I'm surprised that she didn't jump. Excuse me? Having used to his parents, I'm surprised she didn't jump. Stay out of this, Sean. You're a little girl. Don't you dare speak to her like that. Well, one minute she's asking to move back in with us, and the next minute she's mouthing off. No, I'm not mouthing off. For months now, everything she has been through, college and this, used to splitting up, none of us have been there for her, and no one's told her that it's going to be OK. Yeah, well, it isn't. Dad? I'm not being lectured to by a kid. Yes, you are. See, just listen to her. 
talk to her because everything that has been going on you don't have a clue about. And then this is the result. Sally, Kevin, um, I didn't mean to have a go like that before. I'm really sorry. No, Sean, you hit home with what you said. Things are going to be different from now on. Sophie, I just wish you'd talk to me. I try to. Oh, love. If I was just too busy. Never again. I promise. Can I come in? Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm OK, thank you. Well, thank God you're all right. I'm so glad you're well. Yeah. And we do have to thank him. I know. Do you think it was a miracle? Well, it's not every day that a girl falls from that height and comes out unscathed. Yeah. God loves you, Sophie. Do you think he's given me a second chance? A chance to learn, to change. Yes, I sincerely do. Chance we've all been given, actually. Well, better. better be going. OK. Thanks for coming. Sophie. Yes? I wondered if you and Sean might consider coming back to choir. Are you sure? Yeah. I think it gives us a chance to work things out. We've all missed you. Yeah, we've missed it too. So you consider it? Definitely. I'm glad. <laughs> Thank you. I'll stick the kettle on. Hiya. Hiya. How is she? She's had a miraculous escape. Very lucky. But she's going to be all right. Brilliant. I know, you think she could have just gone splat. Rosie? Oh, I'm sorry. You know what I mean. Yeah, we do know what you mean. And we're so lucky our little girl's coming home. And that is a real blessing and the chance for us all to start again. Listen, have you eaten? Oh, no, I'm starving. You rest. I'll do it. No, it's all right. I'll no, do... you sit yourself down. Get that down, yeah. Dad, is that it? Hi, right, what's up? Looks all right to me. Yeah, it would do. There you go. I'm oh, sorry, Kevin, I can't. Oh, no, me neither. Thanks. <laughs> it's all right. I got it! Oh, hey, Rita. Dad, huh? Rita. Oh, hey, uh... Here he is. <laughs> Has he been a good lad? No trouble. Yeah. He's sleeping right now. Bless him. Now then, how is she? How's oh, Sophie? <sighs> She's going to be all right. Oh, thank goodness for that. That's marvellous news. It is. Yeah, we just have to make sure that nothing like this ever happens to her again. Well, for now, let's just be glad that she's safe. Look, I won't stop. I can see you having your tea. Yeah. Thanks, Rita. Oh, it's a pleasure, love. Thanks, Rita. Bye, Bye. Rita. Bye-bye, Rosie Tosie. Bye. Well, now he's back. I've been making tracks myself. Why don't you stay a while? We could open a bottle of wine, celebrate that Sophie's OK. Well, are you sure? Cos I'll be honest with you, I'd rather be here than spending an evening alone in that poxy flat. Red or white? What goes best with beans? <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, Jason, come and have a look. Isn't he the cutest thing ever? He is, yeah. Hello. Hello. Well, I keep an eye on you two, <laughs> just in case you lose him again. Oh, don't worry. We are still absolutely mortified by that. <sighs> Getting late. I can see you're tired. Oh, yeah, we best be off. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, well, I'm glad she's OK anyway. Night, Mum. Night, love. Night, Dad. Night. 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 Bye. Anyway. Fancy a nightcap? <laughs> she's a lovely girl. She's so sweet and charming. I think you make a lovely couple. Why, thank you, Emily. <laughs> you know, I don't know why, but I, I keep expecting the Queen's speech. Hey, 
play the right corker there and Emily loves you. Norris too, if truth be known. Emily even said that we made a lovely couple. Really? That's amazing. Right, everyone, I think that we should mark this occasion by having a photo under the tree. Oh, why not? <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not one for photographs. Norris, come on. Yes, come over here, Norris. Oh, Norris, will you do me the honour of standing beside oh, me? Well, OK, then. <laughs> <laughs> right, hats on, drinks at the ready. But, uh, Graham, what about you being in the picture? Worry not, Emily. All I've got to do is set this here timer on the camera. Right, once I press this button, five seconds to blast off. And... <clears throat> right, oh, you forgot your hat. Oh, come on. You said five but, seconds. Oh, yeah, um... Kung Hei Fat Choi! Kung, Kung Hei Fat Choi! You used to love nights like this. Quiet night in. Me and you, bottle of wine. Used to be one of my favourite times. Mine too. I'm so, so sorry, Sal. I know you are. How could he have made such a mistake? There's been lots of mistakes. On both sides. I don't regret Jack. How could you? I reckon my mistake was the worst imaginable. Play. You're despicable! Sally, please. Go! Sally. I said go! Right now! 